Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 2 to 4 LP. We are here with Brandy Broke and Dustin and Bew, or Bo, I mean. Um, and Brandy is actually in labor, so we're calling the obstetrician. We're going to pick her labor type. Natural is what we're going to go for. And so now it says that she's chosen natural. So if we change her mind, we can call the obstetrician again at any time to choose a different birthing option. Now I think, I think if we call, uh, okay, I don't know. So now what happens, how do you, General, no. Now, how do you have the baby? I don't know. Is there like something else I'm supposed to do? <sighs> I don't know. And I feel like if I tell her to go have the baby like normal, she's just going to go have like a normal birth. Hmm. All right, well, I can't prolong this forever, so I've chose natural, but I don't know how to have the baby like that, so I guess I would have to look it up, but I don't have time for that right now because I'm, like, recording this, so I'm just going to tell her to have the baby. We're going to join her. No, Dustin's going to stay here with Bo, and we're just going to go have the baby because I don't know, I don't know how to have it otherwise. That's unfortunate. Okay. So it says, welcome to the clinic. Feel free to make yourself comfortable and ask one of our obstetricians if you need anything. You can try doing some labor inducing activities such as taking a walk or doing exercise on a birthing ball. You'll go into active labor once you are 10 centimeters dilated. Oh wait, so it is working. But... There's no birthing balls here. So like I'm not sure what we're supposed to do. <laughs> I've never I've never played with this before. I guess I should have played with it. I don't know. Alright, recline on an exam bed. Here we go. Vivian is here. So I'm sure there's got to be some things that we can choose for her to do. Oh, so she can go for a walk. That was one of them. So let's have her go for a walk, I guess. Now, if it's a man, obviously I'm going to do a C-section for a man because I just think, like, how else is the baby going to get out? So we'll probably do, like, a C-section for a man. Who is this? Albany Cap. Who's all these girls? Well, that's um, Cece Be Cersei Beaker, right? Yep. And this is Samantha Cordial. She's one of the girls that, like, wants to become a witch or whatever. Oh, so that's interesting. This is Vivian Cho. And there should be another one around here. She's just walking outside in the rain. I mean, okay. Um. Yeah. So, what else can we do? Because these are obstetrician. Ask for an epidural. Ask to check dilation. Um. That's pretty much it. So, like, how are you supposed to get like balls and stuff here or are you supposed to place to like your hospital or whatever in your world I don't know what you're supposed to do to like have these other items 
Are you able to like edit these lots eventually or something somehow or something? Okay, stop walking. <laughs> Jeez. So it says nine days. Sheesh. Okay. So what does it say? It says from water breaking. Brandy's water just broke and a huge amount of water came out. For a second, Brandy thought she had Peter's health. Well, now we know. Is she beating that up? She would. <laughs> she would. So I just feel like she needs to keep walking or something. I don't know. She's like in pain. She could ask for an epidural. But then you can't get up and walk. So maybe we'll just have her walk one more time. And then she can use the toilet when she's done. Cersei, that is so rude. What is Albany doing? He's a patient? Are you? Because you don't look like it. <clears throat> okay, well. She's outside walking and I don't want to be outside because it's really loud. The rain is so loud, but she's right there. So, just going to speed her up. I might cut some of this out just because it is kind of slow to progress, I guess. Um, is she going pee? She's going to flush and then use. Okay. So, she's getting hungry. Um, okay. So, what is this saying? Still says nine days. That seems excessive. Um, we get asked to check our dilation. This is an interesting mod and I really wanted to try it out. But if it doesn't work for this LP, that's fine. I'll just use it for like other things or whatever. Um, it's a really cool mod though. It really is. So I want her to check how dilated we are because... We don't know how far along we are, and it's important to know that. I don't think you can get an epidural before you're f four centimeters. So. Okay, let's see how far we are. She's going to sleep. How far is she? Three centimeters. Wow. Okay. Well, that's good. We're getting there. She wants to cook a meal and she wants to invite family over. That's really cute. Okay, what are we doing? Sleeping. Sleeping. Can we, like, get some food? Ask for an epidural. Um. You threw a shabow. Hmm. Seriously, can we, like, sleep? Wait for results. Sleep. No, I don't want to do that. I want her to sleep because she's getting kind of tired. And through pregnancy or delivery, a delivery, you are supposed to try and like sleep as much as possible to get through it. So I'll have her sleep. But we are getting so hungry. So I'm going to have to get her to eat something, I think. Can she grab something from here? Buy a snack. They totally would not let you do this, by the way. Get a sandwich. Alright, we're gonna get a sandwich because we're really hungry. What does she want to do now? Flirt with someone. Wow. Okay, so we're getting her some food. And then the only thing I know to do is to have her continue to walk around. So, let's just continue to have her go for a walk. Because we don't have, like, a birthing ball or anything, you know? If we had a birthing ball, I think it would be okay, but we don't. Okay, so she is literally just walking around trying to become more dilated, which is fine. I mean, it's not taking horribly long, you know? It is taking a little bit of time, but I feel like as long as we can, you know, get it done, we should be fine. Okay, so let's have our dilation checked again, I guess. See where we're at. It's been a while because I've been fast forwarding. It's like the next morning. So we'll see what we can do. Stop carrying an umbrella inside. It's such bad luck. 
Okay, come on. Okay, recline. Or something. Okay, is she coming to check us? Um... Why are they not taking him in? I'm so confused. Wait, is this person coming to check us? Is Victor coming to check us? Confused. Can you ask him to check you? Ask him to check your dilation? Um, Cersei's still here, I can see. And I think Vivian it was still here. But I didn't see... What's her face still here? Uh, she might have left. She might have left. A little stuffy from coming down with something. Six centimeters. Okay, now we could ask for an epidural. So this doesn't take an exceptionally long time. Which is great. Okay, just give me a moment and I will be right over to give you the epidural. Be sure to stay very still during the procedure and it will be over before you know it. Perfect. Oh my gosh, she has a needle. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> Ouchie. No thank you. <laughs> Poor Brandy. I feel bad. She probably feels better. What does it say? Uh oh. Something doesn't feel right. Brandy is only feeling numbness on half of her body and she is still in pain. It's best to let the obstetrician know to see if there's anything they can that can be done about it. <gasps> okay, we need to replace it. Is he, like, trying to diagnose our sickness? <laughs> Bro, we're trying to give a, have a baby here. We're not, we're not trying to figure out what sickness we have. I am sorry to hear that. Let me try replacing it to see if it helps. I'll be right over. You would not be able to walk with an epidural. Um, it's just not possible. And what she's experiencing is exactly how my epidural was on my first pregnancy. And it was so painful. I was so miserable. For 58 hours, I was in straight pain. It was horrible. It was so horrible. I felt horrible. Okay, so this is finally some relief. Getting the epidural didn't hurt at all. Brandy is feeling a slight tingly sensation, but it is nothing comparing to the contractions. She can't wait for the medication to take effect. So that is awesome. I'm excited for her. Settling in. The contractions are getting more intense and more frequent. Brandy is also starting to feel pain in her lower back. If Brandy wants to get an epidural, now might be a good time to do so. We did get one. It's that I think the medicine is about to kick in. So let's go ahead and have her just um, sleep a bit. Waiting for the baby to come because we're waiting also for the epidural to kick in. And once the epidural kicks in, for most people, they're like in la-la land. They're like happy as can be. So epidural has kicked in. Each contraction is becoming less and less painful. Brandy feels she might be able to take a good nap before it's time to push. Okay, well, she's napping because she is tired. So, I'm going to go ahead and let her nap, and then we can go from there. See how this goes. I don't know how far along she'll be, um, but I would assume you're not supposed to get up and walk around after you've had an epidural. Like, you can't walk in real life. So, probably not going to do any more walking for her, just like waiting. And, yeah. Wait for results, sleep, recline, or ask to check dilation. So we're literally just waiting on her. I'm going to speed her up while she's just sleeping. And we can go from there. Oh my goodness, it scared the shysta out of me. I literally jumped in real life. Okay, so we can have her wake up. And what does it say? She's a little stuffy. And we should ask to check dilation now. Let's have Cersei do it. I don't know. Just because Cersei's not been doing anything all night. She's literally been just playing games. <laughs> Get to work, Cersei. Get to work. Okay. So let's let's check how close we're getting. We were at six. So let's hope that we're getting close. 
It's 11.31 a.m. on Tuesday. Okay. This is so cool. This is a really cool mod. Whoever made this is really talented. Oh, no. We're only six? Oh, no. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, we can go for a walk. Because I guess she can get up and walk. It's weird. It's really weird. But we'll let her go for a walk again. She's just walking around the hospital this time. Now she's outside. <laughs> yes, I know you're ready for labor, but we're not on you yet. I just hope that doesn't get annoying for you guys. Because it's always popping up. So, I just hope you guys don't get annoyed with it. That's all. Okay, so I'm thinking now we have it checked by Victor, and then this should be it. Three walks is all it takes to get the baby out. Come on, bro. Check us out. Not like that, but you get what I mean. Okay, here we go. Check in. <laughs> the birthing ball would have been cool to see too. Oh, she's getting hungry. She is getting hungry. We're at eight. Uh, okay, let's have her eat one more time. Let's buy one more snack. We'll get her a. Let's get a pastry. Because she's about to have a baby. So this is perfect. I know we're not seeing much of Dustin and and Bo, but it's okay, I think, because we'll see them eventually, you know? And this is only going to be, like, whenever we're having a baby, because this doesn't seem to be taking too long. I was really scared, honestly, that it was going to, like, take forever to progress, like, in real life. <laughs> I mean, I guess time in The Sims moves faster. And because it's only one Sim here with us like she doesn't have anyone with her so it's just easier for her to just like you know just speed up time and stuff so like when she's sleeping and stuff time is actually speeding up for us so it's okay and we obviously can speed it up too but it says dustin is done with school for the day he's doing some t uh, satisfactory work but his teachers at buckingham high think he could easily improve with a little bit of extra effort and Bo was returned from daycare because Dustin went home. I don't know where he went. Can we do anything with these? No. Okay. Um, yeah. She's still walking outside. Like, girl, now is not the time. Does it tell you when you reach 10 so, like, you don't have to keep having them check you? You can just, like, go until it tells you, hey, you're at 10. Okay. I think you should come inside because this is getting dangerous. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She's literally used every one of these beds. She's laid in this bed. She's laid in this bed. I think she laid in one of those over there, too. I don't know. Okay, come on. Have Victor check you now. We should definitely be there. We should definitely be there. I really think we should. And if we're not, something's wrong. Did you just pee yourself, Vivian? That is so gross. We're like giving birth and we didn't even pee ourselves. So come on. Okay. Here we go. Come on. Is that it? <gasps> Nine centimeters. You're almost there. Oh, these last centimeters are taking forever. And all I can have her do is go for a walk. That's all I know how to do. So I'm just going to speed her up. <laughs> just gonna speed her up because it's already almost going on six. Ugh, so bad. <gasps> Not feeling the song. She. Uh, I thought that was it. I thought it was telling me that she didn't. She was like ten centimeters. <laughs> okay. So now, let's have him check you again. All right, here we go. This should be it. Definitely should be it. Come on. What does it say? It's almost time. From active labor. She's almost ready to give birth. She's in 
is fairly relaxed state and is starting to feel the urge to push. She will be in labor very soon. You're fully dilated. Talk to one of our obstetricians to go into labor right away. Oh my gosh. Give birth. Go, go, go. I'm so excited. Oh my god, why is he running? <laughs> oh, oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. So we'll get to take a photo of her giving birth. Look. Oh my goodness. Obviously. Kind of want to try and cut out the blur if I can. So maybe we'll just do it like this. And we'll just take this photo. So cute. Okay. We're ready. Oh my gosh. Can they like die from this? Do you guys know? What does this say? Worried about health. From being due for health checkup. I'm not worried about that right now. <laughs> and I would not be worried about that in the middle of birth. Or labor, I guess. <laughs> She's like so worried, it seems like. I feel so bad. Because like, her husband can't be here. <gasps> it's a boy! Okay, so I always name her son, if she has one, Oliver. Because it's like the next letter. Oliver is the next letter. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, look! Look at the baby! Oh my goodness! I gotta see this. I want to get a picture, but it's just... Uh. Oh, that is so sweet. We should get a photo of them, like, cuddling for the cover. Because you obviously can't tell if it's a girl or a boy. Oh my god, this blur. It's just, it's killing it for me. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, I got the photo. I got two photos. I can choose between which one I want to get to. Oh my god. This is the sweetest thing. Whoa! <laughs> she just goes, okay, I'm done. Gotta go look at the photo. What the heck? <laughs> That's it. Now Brandy has a new baby. It looks acceptably cute and will give a new dynamic to Brandy's life. Sometimes change is welcome. Oh. I really like this mod. It is really sweet. It's a really sweet mod. Why is he freaking? So Oliver is here. How cute. Okay, can we go home now? Because I'd like to see my other kids. No? <laughs> Seriously. I'd like to go home now. Pregnancy. Do we just like... Minus five dollars. Go home. I guess that's what you choose. I have no idea. If anyone knows, let me know. If I'm doing this wrong, please tell me so I can do it better next time. Because we'll probably be using this mod throughout all of the pregnancies. That'll be so cool. To be like in labor with them or like the husbands are with them or whatever. So cool. That was so cool. Probably one of the most coolest mods for The Sims 4 that I know of, honestly. <sighs> so worth spending our whole time at the hospital just to experience that. So yeah, so Brandy had her baby. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Guys, I forgot that I got this mod. That like allows you to have your baby in a real grip. I'm about to cry. I'm seriously about to freaking cry. Oh my goodness. So cute. What happens if you like turned it pink? 
Okay, so it doesn't... The only one I really see a difference on, really, is the green. But... Go with blue. Oh my gosh, I forgot that I got this mod and how freaking cute, right? So like, not just me, but oh my goodness. Okay, so let's breastfeed him. Oh, he's sad. We'll bounce him, coo at him, cuddle, make a silly face, and rock him. So every one of our babies will be in these cribs because it's like one of the new mods that I downloaded. I think it's freaking adorable. So cute. It's like an override for the bassinet. Pretty much. Dustin is showing symptoms of high blood pressure. What is going on? <laughs> he wants to earn a thousand simoleons. Um, we should also put this away. And he should use the bathroom. And I'm always going to tell my kids one time to do their homework. And then go to bed. And Bo is hungry. Oh, really, kid? Okay, so come take a slice. And then we can go from there. Brandy is just... She's as happy as can be with her baby. Okay, she also needs to change the baby's diaper. So that's something she needs to do. Oh, I'm so excited with these new cribs. Like, they're going to make making nurseries so much better. And it's just so worth it. If you guys um, ever want any links to any of the mods that I use, just let me know in the comment section. I definitely will um, show you um, where I got it from. Because a lot of my mods, I know some people like ask me sometimes, like, where did you get that? Um, but yeah, I'll definitely show you where I got it from. If you guys are interested. Okay. So what is her status on having a baby now? She's neutral. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Okay. She really needs to go to the bathroom. And then she really needs some sleep. So we're going to let her head to bed. And yeah. He's going to be heading to bed. And then little guy is just eating. And going from there. He has about three days until he ages up, so not a whole ton of time uh, before he will be definitely aging to a child, which will be interesting. I'm probably going to make bunk beds in this room and color one for Bo and color one for Dustin. Because I don't think Dustin will be moved out or going to college or anything by then. No, he has 12 days, so he'll be living here for a while before Bo or after Bo ages up. But yeah, I think I'm just going to get them all into bed for the end of this episode. And then we'll pick back up with them in the next one. This is the cutest mod. Both of these mods are adorable. Like this CC whatever thing is so freaking cute with the new crib. It is just adorable. And I like that you can change the color. Um, and then the birthing mod was just... It was... Wow, it was amazing. So if you guys enjoyed this, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. In the description below is all of my social media links, so definitely check those out. And I will talk to you guys in my very next one. Thanks so much for watching.